Chris to the Waves, Chris to the Waves is the main piece, and then I took element out of Chris to the Waves and implemented it a new artwork, which is at the moment here at Beck, which is crystal clear, being a series in that, again, of three elements, three smaller artworks, crystal clear, which come out from these elements of the main, 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 main artwork. And similar for here, energy spin, and the three bubbles of energy spin are reflected in the northern spin, the western spin, and the eastern spin. Um, and on this wall, you see pop-up design, again graphic design on the computer. I'm mixing the original, the real shadow with the artificial shadow, which is on the artwork already and superimposing these two effects. And the third one, I want to encourage you later, here is some glasses, to look at the artwork in a three-dimensional way. So it's three-dimensional in two, two layers. First, of course, the artwork itself is three-dimensional because of the image. And secondly, the background already is three-dimensional. So if you look through the glasses there, you will see that you see a double three-dimensional effect. Let, let, let us explore together a little bit the shadow effect. Because as the artwork and the fish are sticking out three-dimensional out of the, the wall, the possibilities are there to create some moving ambience, some change of the effect, some lighting uh, effect. And when you have the best, the best light at all, uh, at all is the sunlight. Because first, the sunlight is creating a very sharp and clear shadow. And secondly, it's fantastic because the sunlight is moving. So over the day, if you imagine the sun is raising towards the east, giving a very long shadow of the fish, then over the day the shadow is getting short and short and the night it comes to the other side and gets long again. So the best, best lighting is the sound, the moving effect. I try, try to illustrate this change of light, for example here, because I'm, when I'm changing the plate, you see that the shadow is moving and you can see when I teach the flashlight you can see what I mean when the sunlight is changing, the shadows are changing, and the artwork gets in a completely different ambience depending on the light. Of course, now it's a bit difficult to show because this light is, is over uh, uh, okay. the, the light here is the right. Uh, I also wanted to let you know that uh, I put a lot of information on the internet and you will also find on the internet it's a movie which I took from two very memorable effects which I could celebrate in Europe. It was first, it was of course very, a very high honor that I was asked by a company uh, with energy and water supply for their celebration of the year of the water to create their foyer into an art barrier or into an art ambient. So for the celebration of the year of the water, there was a big show that was at Austria. And the second biggest event was the Austrian Broadcasting Company, and this is this movie, which is on the internet, uh, available uh, for, for download. And I think it's also giving a very good effect of this change in shadows, because the the occasion to do this artwork was a dance session, a dance event in the Austrian Broadcasting um, Art Center. And for the introduction, they wanted to give the people an additional ambience, which is different from classical dance. And so we created together a show which was called Dancing Waters. So via changing light, via yeah, changing the, the position between the lighting and the artwork, you create a dancing shadow, a dancing fish. And so the, the series was called Dancing Waters. If you want to see more of the artwork, this is a, a part of it. I put some catalogs here on the tables, so you can, you can see more of the artwork. There is a smaller version of the catalog here. And yeah, 
what is the meaning of Ji for me? Why did I come up with the topic of Ji? Ji for me stands for grow higher, inspire your life. So everything is to grow to get a higher positive emotion. And all the happiness which I was lucky to receive when being out in the nature, traveling to different places of the world and creating the fish, all this happiness I collected together and put into the big smile of the fish. So this is the smile which I was happy to receive during all this creative uh, activity. I think for the moment I will conclude my general introduction, but it should not end completely because I would love then to get with you individually, personally, in the group. If you have questions, to go around, explore a little bit the shadow effects and see more of the details. But for the moment, uh, I, would, I, I thank you very much for coming, being here, joining this celebration with me. Um, I wish you a full day, full of happiness. And I want that you are able to take some inspiration home. So I created some little fish origami. Uh, and all of you are most welcome to take such an origami to home, which is a symbol of happiness. Maybe for your wallet or whatever. Whenever you see the little smile, I want to remember the, a happy moment in your life. Yeah, and of course, as an artist, I would also be very very uh, happy also to know that at least some of the artwork will find a new home, one of your homes. And Cynthia was very generous because Cynthia thought that for the opportunity of this art session to be giving a special promotion for today, uh, Cynthia uh, is, is supporting me with a very generous offer of a, of a promotion today for the artwork. Okay, in this sense, thank you for joining. Grow higher, inspire your life. Thank you. 
And the bubbles are the triple eyes of the inspiration. The fish is also linked to the inspiration. And as you can see, depending on the on the position of the sunlight, the fish may even go around the corners, go into different areas of the room, go to the ceiling, go on the walls. So it's the important thing is I did, did not want to create a very static impression, I wanted to create artwork which lives together with you, which undergoes transformation. And with this artwork, my, my idea was that first the, the fish are living in their little bubble, but via the light, via the inspiration, they go outside and go into different worlds. So they reach different third worlds by the light. For me, the, the slogan was, water is light, fish are the energy, and light inspires the fantasy. Very important for me is also when I create the artwork, I, I'm thinking a lot about the title to express the inspiration. So when, when we start here, this is splashing joy. A splash in the artwork is the joy of the fish, the happiness. This is intensity. Here we have, as I told you, the dream which comes true. Like that, you don't think. Yeah. Under this Thank you very much. It comes uh, on when it teases. <laughs> okay, exotic fantasy. Here we have crystal waves. Here we have one fish which grows bigger and bigger and bigger in life. It's a magnified life. And the wings. Yeah, thank you very much, Ines. It's a great help. The wings. This, these artworks are from a series called Angels. And as you may see, here the fish got additional wings for the fly, how, how much they can fly and, and reach a higher state. So this is Angels in magnified light. Here we have the energy spin. Some cute small fish. Here you see the shadow effect very clear already from this lamp. This is the breakthrough. Oh, let's play a little bit the shadow on this side. This is breakthrough. Then the Arabian festival. And you can imagine how I, I have places where it, it sometimes it's a good good luck and good, good fortune you put on a place and suddenly you recognize in the evening when the sun is going down how fantastic the art transforms what you did not even foresee or I had a place where I put an artwork and then the small table light from the working table created such an enormous shadow that the artwork was very small and honestly when I, I, I was putting the artwork there for some friend I told them maybe it's not the right spot because there's such a empty wall there and suddenly I thought fantastic that they told me to put it there because I did not think of the table light and when, they, when we switched on the full wall till the entrance at the door was covered with the fish I told you about the three dimensional effect here the artwork is called the source here we have the circle of life, I don't know how clear it can be seen. The circle of life is a shadow which goes in a circle around the artwork. This is the circle, the, the, the shadow on the artwork itself. Circle of life together with the, the real shadow. And last but not least, team spirit we can. You see the small little cute fish, but they can. They really can be created big, big shadows. 